our commitment was to make the upgrade from Drupal 8 to Drupal 9 uh, very easy, the easiest one in the last decade. And so I wanted to show you how you could go about upgrading your site from Drupal 8 to Drupal 9. All right, so I'm going to use an example. Uh, here's Johanna. She lives in the Netherlands. Um, she is a dog groomer, um, and she has a website about dog grooming. Uh, but she's also a very skilled Drupal developer. Um, and she has a fairly simple site. She has some contributed modules on the site. Uh, one of those modules, and I'll, I'll show that in a second, is um, the EU cookie compliance module to do these little pop-ups, you know, accept the cookie, um, which is obviously necessary for GDPR. And then she has one custom module, a module that she built herself uh, for Drupal 8. All right, so let's see how she goes about upgrading her site to Drupal 9. So there's basically four steps that she has to do. I'm gonna walk you through all of these four steps uh, real quick. The first step is to install the upgrade status module. Um, you can see she's using Composer. <laughs> yeah. Um, so she's just gonna, you know, compose a required that module, and what you'll see happen is Composer will figure out all of the dependencies for this module and download them. Um, you can see uses a little bit of the Zen framework and some other stuff, and eventually all of these pieces are automatically installed. Um, all she has to do then is basically go to the Drupal admin UI and enable the module. All right, so she did that. Um, the module is enabled. Um, she's now ready to go. So installing that module is pretty easy with Composer. Um, so next, she's actually gonna use this module to scan both the contributed module and her custom module and, and see if they're compatible with Drupal 9. And then she's gonna figure out how to make them compatible. So uh, I'll show you that as well. So here's the upgrade status module. Um, as mentioned, she's starting with just the contributed projects. She's gonna scan them all. And so when you scan your modules, what happens in the background is it's basically some sort of code analysis looking for uses of deprecated code. And a module is ready to go to Drupal 9 if there's no deprecated code uh, being used, right? It's pretty easy. The tool is designed to help you highlight where you may have incompatible code or deprecated code. In this case, this cookie compliance module is not ready. However, it said that there's an update available for the module. And so she's gonna use Composer to update the module to the latest version. So she doesn't have to code or change any code, she just has to upgrade to the latest version. So you can see she's on 1.5 and she's going to 1.8. When she does that and she rescans the module, basically it's gonna come back green and say, yep, you're now ready to upgrade to Drupal 9. All of your contributed modules are ready, okay? Now she still has one custom module it's a module that she uses to manage um, opening hours of her you know, dog grooming salon. Because it's a custom developed module, there's obviously not a, an update available. <laughs> Nobody in the community is gonna update that for her. So she needs to update that custom module herself. So I'm gonna show you that as well. So this time she's gonna select her custom projects in the upgrade status module. You can see two problems. One is a warning, one is a, uh, an error. In this case, She's using a function, Drupal set message, and the error is telling her that function doesn't exist anymore or will stop to exist in Drupal 9. And the documentation on drupal.org tells her how to fix it, right? So in this case, the documentation tells her that that function was changed to a service. And so she quickly changes that in her code. And as you can see, it's a simple change. It's a one-line code change. Um, after she does that, she saves her module, and that should take care of that. The second thing she has to do is deal with this warning in yellow. So basically what this warning is, is telling her is that she has to declare her module to be compatible, not just with 8, but also with Drupal 9, which is something new. To do so, she has to edit the info file, the .info file of her project, and basically add this. It says, this module will work with 8, and Drupal 9 at the same time. The same code will with, work with both versions. Yeah. 
And so after she made that change, she rescans her custom module, and right. boom, opening times now works with Drupal 9 as well. So that's pretty good, right? Yeah. And for those that don't like to use the UI of the upgrade status module, there's also command line tools. You can add those into your continuous development environments and all these things. But the point is the tools are ready today. The APIs are ready, the tools are ready. You can start doing this stuff today. So obviously the last step is she needs to update Drupal core to Drupal 9. So right now she's using 8.8 .8 alpha one. And she wants to switch to, you know, the, the, the development version of Drupal 9. And there are some instructions on drupal.org and she can basically copy paste. Um, she's gonna do that here. And so basically what these instructions do is to, um, sort of update the uh, composer JSON files, update all of the dependencies that Drupal 9 uh, needs. Uh, this is still a little bit complex, but actually in talking to Ryan and Greg, they're actually working on making these commands easier. So maybe by the end of the week, could be a stretch goal, I don't know. Some of this could be even easier now. And obviously we're upgrading to an alpha version of 9, which is also, um, a little bit special, but like here you can see Composer figuring out all of the new dependencies that Drupal 9 has relative to 8 and taking care of updating that. And after that's done, she's basically on 9. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so it's great to, you know, start to, you know, see that come to life. Obviously, uh, Johanna is a simple site, right? It's not super complex site, but she was able to do all of this in like 30 minutes or so. It wasn't a big job. Um, I recognize a lot of sites have more modules, more custom code as well, uh, and so it would take a little bit more time, but the principles, the concepts are the same. And my key point is that this is a huge, huge improvement compared to Drupal 7. Um, and I can go into that a little bit more, yeah. <laughs> so we did some analysis of all of the contributed modules, and it turns out if we look at just the top 200, which is what you know, most people use modules in the top 200, 16% of those modules are already ready today, eight months before the Drupal uh, 9 release, which we've never had before, frankly. Um, furthermore, half of the modules are very close to ready. And the way we measure that is they need fewer than 10 lines of code that needs to be changed uh, for them to be ready. And then 34% um, percent of the modules, they need more than 10 lines of code to be changed. Now, if we look, sort of, if we open that up and we look inside of what these changes are, we basically saw that a lot of these changes are easy. In fact, 29% of the changes you need to make are like this Drupal set message example that I just showed in Johanna's video, right? So literally a third is just simple one line changes specifically to Drupal set message and then the 71% that's left, I bet you there's a lot more one line changes to it. So arguably we could almost automate some of these changes and get a lot of modules ready in record time. So it'd be really interesting to see if we could automate some of this, uh, could be an interesting project to work on. Um, now some changes will need a little bit more work than a one line change, but still a lot of it will be easy. And so the big difference between seven and eight and eight to nine, is then Drup from Drupal seven to Drupal eight, you needed to rewrite your modules. You couldn't start until Drupal eight was released. And then you had to do it sort of in a big bang style. All of a sudden your module was ready and it would work or it wouldn't work. <laughs> uh, in Drupal eight and going from eight to nine, there's a lot of small updates you need to make, um, like the ones that I showed you. You can start today, eight months before we even release Drupal 9. And a lot of these updates can be incremental. Actually, you make them today, you can use those in eight. So you can actually test these changes already in production um, in, a, in a very incremental way. So big difference compared to um, the previous major release cycle. And so um, you can help now. As I mentioned, the tools are ready, the APIs are stable. Um, and so please help us upgrade your modules, help, help update the contributed modules. 
Uh, you can also help work on Drupal 9. We have to remove deprecated code from 9 as well, and so that's an area where you can get involved as well.